Ricky, now you're known for having strong opinions about all different kinds of things. So with that in mind, it's, I want to play a game of Wheel of Opinions. Wheel of Opinions. There you go. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love that. No, it's got a theme tune and everything like this. A thought gone into this game. <laughs> that is oh. how it works. I'm going to hit this button here, which is Bluetooth attached to the studio, and it's going to activate the uh, opinion topic generator. And it's going to land on a random topic. <laughs> and whatever it is, you have to give your opinion on it. You ready for this? Yeah. All right, here we go, buddy. Ooh. Ooh, a... Horoscopes. Well, I like horoscopes. Oh. You have... They're ridiculous. What? Nonsense. Why? A pseudoscience. It, 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 how, can, how can your horoscope, how can people born around the same time have all the same characteristics? It's, it's they work in people's minds because they, they, first of all, they make them flattering, don't they? They say things like, oh, cancer, you're brave, but considerate, you know, Virgo, <laughs> logical, hardworking. Not one star sign says you've got bad breath and you're gullible. But, you know, they don't. It, it's and they make it those daily things that are you know um, predictions. They're so vague. It's all things like today you'll seize an opportunity. Well, what does that mean? They've got to say something like if it said Sally Marsden in Teddington, your boss is going to fire you today because he knows it was you that nicked the petty cash. Then I'd believe them. But until then, it's absolute nonsense. Let's have another topic. Here we go. Made up <laughs> weed gummies. I don't think you're a weed gummy guy. Well, I mean, I, I think that they're probably good for weaning kids onto drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you're, if you're like, li little Tommy won't smoke his joint. <laughs> Give him a weed gummy. Give him a weed gummy. <laughs> No, here we go. Ready to go. Let's another topic. Next. We're moving. All right, mechanical pencils. Where you click and the the lead comes, uh, you know. Okay, why? What was up with the pencil? What well, was wrong with the pencil? Where? Who, who was going? These pen? Are these pencils aren't? They're no good anymore. What was wrong with it? What this invention for nothing? I remember when I worked in an office, there was a thing. It was a little arm that went down when you wanted a paper clip, and it had a little magnet picked up. Like people going, I can't pick up paper clips anymore. Fingers are fingers are so passe. I can't pick up paper. It's a thing made up for no one needs it. What was wrong with a pencil? Although I think that about a lot of stuff, like belt buckles now. I like trying to do the Rubik's cube. What was up with the belt and watch straps? Absolute not. Just lit. It's fine. I've got I've got a pair of trainers, and it was. It was ridiculous. You had to pull open a thing and then pull them on and then pull a drawers. What was up with laces? A pencil is fine. No one's ever, no one's ever been disappointed with a pencil. It's well, never, it's ne never been needed well, to be changed. Imagine having, imagine having a pencil that, well. <laughs> Some pencils have disappointed, let's just say. Let's just move on. Here we go. Another <laughs> Last one, Ricky, and then I'll leave you alone. I thank you so much for doing this. Here we go. Oh, this is... I don't even know if we have time for this. Space exploration. Uh, well, I mean, it depends for who. I, I like the idea there's a space program, and I love the... The, the feet that we've, we've, you know, satellites and, yeah. you know, Hubble telescope and we put a man on the moon. It's incredible. Um, it makes me laugh as well. Like when you see, when you see members of like the human race taking credit for things that a few people did, like suddenly like these people go, we put a man on the moon. I want to go, what do you mean we? You live in a <laughs> bin. You've done, you, didn't, you couldn't even point to the moon. So stop taking credit for things that the rest of mankind <laughs> you, have you, done. So yeah, we had, you had nothing to do with the man. You <laughs> <laughs> did nothing, right? Yeah. And I think it's, it's, you know, it's great as a science program. They're, they're bringing in this thing where I was offered, right? And one of these things that you go up into space for like 15 minutes. And it was like a group of like billionaires. And they offered me the chance to be the first 
comedian to do a stand-up show in space. So I went, I went no, I'm not going to risk. That's mad. I, I'm careful crossing the road. I'm, also, these people have paid like $300,000 to go into space and have a look around. They go, and here's Ricky Gervais. They're doing 10 minutes. So they, they can watch me on YouTube. And now they've blown 300000 Look out the window. That's the other thing. People say, let's go into space. Well, you look around. We're in space. We're in space now. We're right in the middle. There's nothing you can see up there you can't see from here. It's like me getting out of this chair and going over there and going, I can see the chair from here. You were in the chair. You were in the chair. There's nothing. You're not going to find. People think, well, we might find a new planet. Where's this planet? It, it'll take you about a thousand years to get there. And what do they expect to find when they go freeze and they go there? They expect to find this amazing race of things that tells us all the secrets of the universe and could go and be a big slug like that. And you'll get there and you go, oh, is the big right? And you go, oh, is there? What, how can we cure everything? He goes, I don't know. We're fit, we're, we're space lungs, but we, we're absolutely, we're moronic. So it won't be what people think. It will never be as good as people think. So just stay at home and watch Netflix, Afterlife. We're in, we're in space. Uh, yeah, we're in right in the middle of it. Uh, that is all the time we have for Wheel of Opinions. My thanks again to Ricky Gervais. You can watch his show, Afterlife, on Netflix. Oh my gosh. My face hurts yet again. You've done it, Ricky. Thank you so much for being here. I needed a laugh.